So, how does it feel to be an advertising hotshot? Aaron, I can honestly say I've never been happier. Oh, well, this picture is given real boss vibes. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Creative director Lily Loftus is renowned for her professional and personal style. Her design philosophy, beauty is a joy forever, elevates her campaigns to new heights. Ah! You did it, Lil! I am so proud of you. I could have never done it without my amazing assistant and best friend. Okay. What are you, uh... Oh, I'm just seeing what it'll look like in frame, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. hey, ah. Ah, hey, you're on my face! Oh, uh, sorry, ma'am. You're making it worse. And ma'am, who am I, your grandma? Yeah. <laughs> Is that really you? Of course it's me. Ah, so it is. Well, congratulations, Lily. How do you know my name? It's on the magazine. Oh. We can just get another copy. Oh, I'll take this one. Might be good for me to learn more about you. Wait, wait, what, why? <laughs> what did he mean by that? No idea, but she is handsome. Ooh. Mm, not really my vibe. I prefer guys who don't smell like Whatever that smell was. <laughs> well, whatever. Here's about Mr. Cowboy. How was your date last night? You know, dating. Hmm. And what did he look like? Manlike. Very manly. Tall. And the conversation? A little one sided. Ah, unsurprising. An invisible man, not the best conversationalist. How did you know that? Oh, I have my eyes all over LA, Lily Loftus. My source, the barman said this poor guy sat at the bar with your favorite frozen margarita until it became margarita soup. I was finalizing a paper. I, I lost track of time. Do you know how long it's been since your last date with Doug? A month, two. 10 months. That's 43 weeks. 304 days, Lil. Okay, Rain Man, I should reach out. You could, but I don't think Doug's wife would appreciate that. He's married? Listen, in this town, you snooze, you lose. You're never gonna meet anyone if you're working all hours. But it's paid off. I'm a hot shot. Oh, we need to get that article to Blusher Bay, by the way. The vegan makeup people. Mm -hmm. They've been ignoring your pitches for months. Their aesthetic is pretty edgy, and they probably think I'm too corporate to run their campaigns, but maybe this article will change their mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think so. Hmm. They were not there before. Ugh. Henry. Oh, Lil, what did the flowers ever do for you to hate them so much? They make me sneeze and they need too much looking after. The only high maintenance thing in this office should be me. Oh, oh. There's a meeting, now? Please don't let it be another lecture about misusing company resources. I only printed out those yard sale posters because I am an upstanding member of the community. And because you have a crush on your neighbor who organized it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. The suspense is killing me. I'm gonna take a look. Ow! It's covered up for a reason. Does it get boring? What? Being a rule abiding little goody two shoes. If you mean being a much better assistant than you, no, never. Maria! The head of the company's making a speech. Pay attention. Would not have lasted long as Victor's assistant. Most don't. The record was nine days. Did he even congratulate you on your award? Nope. As joint creative directors, we should be a team, but that's not how he rolls. Here he comes, King Henry CEO. Hello, everyone. I wanted us to get together because since the last time you saw me, I'm a different person. He looks exactly the same. I've been on a mindfulness retreat and it has completely transformed my life. And starting today, I want to make our workplace happy and healthy. So I'm making some changes. Nutritious and delicious juices, free to all. Also. I've converted a meeting room into a yoga studio. There'll be daily classes. And I want us all to embrace the healing power of plants. Meet Ben Robertson. Ben oversees the retreats landscape and he's come here 
to help us achieve a mindful rooftop garden. It's a cowboy bed. And finally, being on the retreat made me realize that I've missed out on a lot of things because I've been too busy working. So I've decided, after 43 years of running Writings and Associates, <laughs> I'm retiring. I was not expecting that. It'll be okay. We have two brilliant creative directors, Lily and Victor, and one of them will take over as the head of the company. Thank you. I'm sure you're wondering why I brought you here. Being in nature made me calmer, happier. Isn't life just better when you're outside? feeling the earth beneath your feet. I'm going to reorient the company to focus on sustainability in order to help the environment. And I want my staff to enjoy nature every day at work. I can't choose who should succeed me, but I've come up with a plan to help. A joint management team won't work. I'm the most experienced and I've been with the company longest. I was literally just named Hotshot in advertising. I'm in favor of one person as figurehead of the company. So to help me make the decision, I've come up with a plan. Victor, I'm going to challenge you. I want you to go out and sign a major eco-friendly company to show that we're the new big deal on the sustainability scene. Challenge accepted. And Lily, I want you to use your fabulously stylish design techniques to help Ben with the rooftop garden. <laughs> But, but I'm allergic to flowers. They make me sneeze and I break out in hives. It can't be that bad if you love the flowers Henry said. I don't know anything about plants. However, Victor here is a total green finger. He grows herbs. Wow. It's green thumb, BTW, and there's a difference between a pot of basil and designing a garden. With a name like yours, I'm sure you'll have a natural affinity. I kind of think my natural affinity is bringing in new business. I'm already an eco-conscious person, I'm vegan, and I only use paper straws. I once saw Victor put a glass bottle into the non-recyclable trash. That's a very serious allegation. Lily, take a breath. I want the gardens to be your priority. Okay, fine. You have one week to complete your tasks. Then I'll decide who gets my job. Good luck to both of you. Ooh, geranium. I'd say may the best man win, but it looks like that job is mine. That isn't- When I'm in charge, there'll be big changes. So don't get too comfortable. Have fun digging in the dirt. So I've emailed your article to Blusher Bay, and I've put together mood boards of garden ideas. Even if they did get back to us. I'm banned from doing my job. Oh, I don't want to make a garden. I'm not a gardener. A cowboy's kind of cute though, right? I started today on top of the world. How's it all gone so wrong? And now I have to meet on the rooftop with this gardener? Or sooner. Oh no, I am not spending a minute longer with him than I have to. Lily. <sighs> don't be rude. I heard we're working on the garden together. Are you excited? Sure. Sorry about your magazine. My mom's always scolding me for stomping around the house. She says I'm like a herd of elephants. <laughs> She's having a bad day. Oh, when we get on the roof, you'll feel good. Fresh air makes everything better. So they say. So how are you finding LA? Whew. Oh, it's uh, different. <laughs> I'm still finding my feet. Metaphorically, not physically. Although, perhaps you'll beg to differ. <laughs> Can we please stop talking about feet? Yeah? Why don't we talk about the project? I'm looking forward to working with you. Does this mean you're Ben's assistant? Oh, I don't know. Does it? No. <laughs> no. Play nicely. I'm rooting for you both. I uh, think you got it. <laughs> it's 
blank canvas, isn't it, Lil? Lee. Lily. My name's Lily. Right. Well, uh, it's a lot to do in a week. Now, to be honest, I've never done anything like this before. What? I just maintain the gardens at the retreat, but Henry's given me a real opportunity here. Oh, and I want to start my own garden design business. Do you know what's at stake for me? I have to create the best rooftop garden in the history of rooftop gardens, so Henry picks me to run the company when he retires. Oh, that's big. Yeah. Now I'm even more stressed. Oh, that makes two of us. In a week's time, we'll be in there running the company. I can't wait. How are those meetings coming along? I've got you in with two of LA's greenest companies. Not enough. We need to pull out all the stops to impress Henry. Henry said you're really creative. Do you have any thoughts on color scheme? I do. Been working on this all morning. I just need a garden done quickly and perfectly. You decide. But in your interview, you said your design philosophy was beauty is a joy forever. Let's use that as a jumping off point. It isn't really applicable here. Why not? Well, flowers last two to five days, depending if you remember to water them. What's the point in creating something if it's not going to be forever? Do you find sunsets beautiful? Of course. They're not forever. What's the point in looking at them? They come back. And flowers bloom again. Their form over function. What purpose do they serve? Flowers are perfectly crafted to fit a bee inside. To me, that's beautiful. I'm not a bee. Uh, that we can agree on. Ugh. Right. Well, I'm going to go build some planners. How long is that going to take? Why wouldn't you buy ready-made ones? What's the fun in buying something when you can do it yourself? Because we have to complete a humongous task in a very short time frame. You can't garden in a, a pantsuit, and I don't want to get stuck with your dry cleaning bill. Just dress in something more appropriately tomorrow. We'll be getting your hands dirty. Can I not garden in this? I mean, it's... Where are we? At work, you dress like you own the room, right? Of course. Now we just gotta dress you like you own the garden. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, this could be great. Big apple tree now. I grew it from a seed when I was five. <laughs> my mom's got this photo of me with it in a tiny pot, smiling, this big gummy smile. <laughs> Redwoods are my favorite tree, though. Have you ever seen one? They're all inspiring. You talk a lot. <laughs> yeah, you got me. It gets really quiet in the van. And on the farm, I can hardly get a word in between. So you live in a van? Only when I'm working here. It's easier than renting a place, and it means I get a little bit of home here in the city. I like to take it out on the weekends, take in the great outdoors. Do you hike much? Just around the mall. <laughs> uh, you, you should pick that up before someone trips. We're the only ones out here. 
Can't we talk about something that's relevant, like the plan for tomorrow? Well, we're installing an irrigation system. It'll save someone having to water each day. After that, we go plant shopping. Oh, I'm allergic to all flowers. You're gonna have to do that on your own. <laughs> no one's allergic to all flowers. Eucalyptus is the worst, but most flowers make me sneeze. Well, a little sneeze never hurt anyone. You'll be fine. Besides, our plant choices are different to a regular garden anyway. Because rooftop gardens contend with strong winds and intense sunshine. You've been studying. I'm impressed. I'm willing to do anything to get this job. Anything. What's this garden all about then? Victor Smith, creative director. Ben, nice to meet you. We've made a good start. You're quite small without those heels on, aren't you? I didn't realize there was a height requirement to becoming managing director. Not like we don't know you were this. What did you say? What do you think? It looks like there's a lot to do in a week. Feeling confident? It is a lot to do. Totally confident. I'm utterly convinced. How's the hunt for your new eco-friendly client coming along? Some very exciting developments. I have to keep it confidential, though. Let me give you the tour. Oh! Oh, Lily, what a fall you've had. I told you to pick up that shovel. Are you OK? I'm fine. Everything's fine. Who'd have thought after your fancy magazine spread, you'd be eating dirt no overalls? Soil boosts serotonin levels. I couldn't be happier. You tell yourself that. I'm off to do some real work. That's my competition. He seems nice. And I refuse to lose to him. So let's stop talking and get back to work, huh? Where are these plants? They should be here by now. Uh, look, I get you're a bit stressed, but very stressed. But creating a garden isn't something you can rush with spreadsheets and pitches. You have to build the right environment to nurture and care for the long term. I don't have time to nurture. All right, uh, we've been working hard. Let's just take a break until tomorrow. What are you doing later? Why? I thought it'd be nice for us to get to know each other outside of work. I don't think. I'm not asking you on a date. I knew that. I just don't want to spend another evening alone in the van, so I reached out to the only person I know here, the girl I dated in high school, Anna. We're going to grab a bite to eat and catch up. Thought you might want to join us. So you want me to be your third wheel? No, I'm no, good. It, it's nothing like that. She's doing really well with her business, so I thought she might be able to give me some tips on starting my own firm. Yeah, do's and don'ts. Mm -hmm. She always talked about starting this vegan makeup line. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't easy, uh, but at first everyone thought she was crazy, you know, talked bad about her, but uh, yeah, it seems like uh, jokes on them. You know what? Count me in. Yeah? Yeah. Well, great. <laughs> Forgot about that. They were going to cut down a tree at school. Ben climbed to the top. He stayed there for a week. What? It was a beautiful tree. <laughs> They're forever things, right? Right. <laughs> so, how did you two meet? He's not. Oh, we're not. Absolutely not. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> My mistake. We're working together on a rooftop garden at Writings and Associates. I'm a creative director there. Oh, the ad agency. Yes, and I would love to talk I'm to you. I'm starving. Is anyone else hungry? Uh, looks like it's coming over. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is this it? The chef specializes in micro-gastronomy. I've been dying to try this place. It's so hard to get a reservation. I prefer cooking my own food and choosing my own portion size. Cooking's a waste of time. I prefer someone did it for me. I hear that. <laughs> hmm. 
my brother. I'll be right back. I'm relieved you and Ben aren't together. I always hoped I'd see him again. Oh, were you two? We were, but I wanted to move to the city to start my company. He didn't want to come, so I made a choice. Uh, Has he said anything about me? He told me about your makeup line, Bless Your Bay. I love your brand's ethos. Not about work, about me, us. I mean, it has to mean something that he wanted to get together after all this time. Maybe. Is he single? I, I really don't know him. Can you find out? <laughs> Tell you what, I have some great campaign ideas for your brand that I would love to run past you. Take a meeting with me and I will put in a word with Ben for you. I'm sold. Coming tomorrow, but let's not mention it to Ben, huh? It's a date, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> What'd I miss? Not much, just a little girl talk. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need seconds. Can I see another menu? <laughs> Are you gonna eat that? up on your little garden. Don't get too excited. I've got an important meeting and then I'll be right back up there. Digging in the dirt will be worth it. I beat you. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Give me a sec. What's with the outfit? I have a work thing. I thought you'd been given leave to do the garden. Oh, it's one teeny weeny client meeting. I'll be back later. Well, good, because I'm going to need two pairs of hands to fit these pipes. Can't wait. I uh, hope you like what I've done to the meeting room. I got here early and fixed all the indoor greenery. And before you ask, it's all allergy friendly. Huh. Thanks. Hope last night wasn't too boring. Not at all. Anna kept going on and on about the past. So much for business advice. She seemed nice. She is, but uh, I think she got the wrong idea about us hanging out. It was good to have you there. I think things might have gotten awkward otherwise. Happy to help. Get back to it. <laughs> yeah. Lily's got a meeting. Find out what she's up to. You just scared me. No assistant of mine is participating in this nonsense. And get these plants out of here. Ooh, Blush Bay is coming in. I love their makeup. They're all ethical and vegan. She's trying to get eco-friendly clients and do the garden. I need to stop this. I'll call them, cancel the meeting. Or we take the meeting for her. You've got this little office. Anna, so glad you could make it. These juices are delicious. Right? And I love what Ben's done with the plants. <laughs> Did you get a chance to talk to him? Not yet, but I will. <clears throat> oh, uh, this is Katie and Chris, my business Hi. associates. So nice to meet you. <gasps> Let's get right to it, shall we? <laughs> As you can see from the indigenous plant and the vegan beverages, at Writings and Associates, we're doing things differently. <laughs> we recognize that for far too long, we have been a part of the problem. And now, we're all about creating Earth-friendly solutions, and we want to work with sustainable brands that do so. Thank you. <laughs> How long should we give it? Just a little longer. <laughs> this is taking shape. I can't wait to see what you and Lily create. Where is Lily? She's meeting a client. I told her the garden was her priority. Come with me. 
I'm so sorry, where, where was I? Sustainable brands. Yes, sustainable brands like you to create a model of sustainable. Oh, no! Miss Loftus, can we talk about you putting your recyclable coffee cup in the non-recyclable trash again? Sorry to interrupt, it's just the environment is important to me. I always recycle. This cup clearly has your name on it. it must be a mistake. I, I love the environment. And animals. And plants, even though I'm deathly allergic. I would go above and beyond to make Blusher Bay's campaigns reach new heights if you join me as a client. Actually, Lily won't be taking on any new clients. Moment. But you asked us to come in. I, I, I thought it would be okay to take one meeting. Is that why you came for dinner? Were you using me to meet Anna? It was a coincidence. I told you to prioritize the garden, and you didn't listen. A user, a rule breaker, and a non-recycler? Do you think you're really fit to run this firm? Should we go? Henry, I can explain. Too late. I'm disappointed. Me too. Me three. Very, very disappointed. I am so, so sorry. How did it go? Even better than I planned. Oh, and I think the plant we put in there doesn't go. Let's lose it. The eucalyptus, but we just... I'm on it. I've blown everything. My shot at running the company. Signing Blusher Bay as a client. Yeah, it hasn't been your best day. <laughs> I should give up now. <sighs> hey, Lily Loftus is not a quitter. It's never too late to change. Victor tried to sabotage you with that coffee cup nonsense. Ben clearly picked the wrong plants. Clearly. And Henry, well, eh, that was unfortunate. Blusher Bay probably will want you to represent them now. Uh, not helping. But hey, that job could still be yours. Now. Get on up to the garden and give it your best shot. Hey, Lil, grab that piece of pipe. It's Lily. You're not in a position to be taking the more high ground right now. I have pins and needles in my foot, not that piece, that piece. <sighs> Thought I'd install the irrigation system myself, save you stabbing me in the back again. You want to talk about stabbing me in the back? Don't move. Your plant set off my allergies. It wasn't my plants, I told you they're allergy, allergy friendly. friendly. I know. But how did I nearly go into anaphylactic shock? And, and how did Henry even know where I was? He asked me where you were, I told him. If you'd have been honest with me, I would have covered for you, but that's not you, is it? You didn't want to go to dinner until I mentioned Anna. And you can say meeting her was a coincidence, but that's not true. You're right, okay? You're right. She said she would come in and meet with me if I put in a word with her for you. Well, it's good to know you'd sell your friends out to get a deal. But we're not friends. Cool. I can finish up here myself. No. I'm doing this. Not giving up on this job without a fight. Of course you are. We'll be ready. 7 a.m. in the morning. I'm picking you up. We're going on a road trip. Just me and you. Great. I can literally see you. No need to be. Where are we going? We're going to Big Bear to buy plants. Can't we go somewhere closer? Big Bear is the plant mecca, darling. Yeah, but it's miles away and we're gonna feel every bump. I mean, how old is this thing? It's a classic. It's a banger. Oh, don't listen to her. You're beautiful just as you are. Well, 
they do say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Love this song. Can we turn it down a bit? What's that? Turn it down? It's gonna be just shout. Don't you like music? Of course I like music. Everybody likes music. What are you into at the moment? It's been a while since I've listened to anything I've really liked. Are we there yet? Soon. <sighs> Welcome to Big Bear. What's that, um, smell? That is the smell of sweet, fresh air and maybe a little cow dung. Lovely. Can't beat it. I think my phone is broken. No, there's no signal out here. Hold on. <laughs> if there's a bear, how do we call for help? Call who, the bear police? All you need to know is don't run and don't climb a tree. Ben, then how do I escape? Well, if we were friends and there were a bear, I'd probably help you out, but unfortunately we're not. Is it too late to come friends? <laughs> <laughs> you're just saying that, so you're not left to fend for yourself. Yes, yes I am. <gasps> oh, there's are just some hawks being territorial. They can probably tell that there's an out of town about. Come on, let's go shop. We grow our own stuff on the farm, but with the tight turnaround, I want to get mature plants. Oh, lavender. This is great for bees. Oh, and you can never go wrong with begonias. Oh, no. Can't do this. What? Why not? Lilac and orange, they clash. It's a good thing if you're trying to make a bold statement, but Henry was very specific in wanting this garden to feel relaxing. Lilac's a dreamy color. Let's find shades that complement it. These are perfect. Oh, and those will be really great too. Great. Come on, keep up. Someone's getting excited about this. <laughs> now we need to mix in some greenery to make it less ostentatious. How about this? Oh yeah, that works. Get a better effect when there's more of them, of course, but just so you get the idea. What do you think? I think there's that hot shot eye I read about. Thanks. So, uh, what's your favorite flower? <laughs> Tough. That's like asking a parent which kid they like the best. I could never choose. Mm. What about you? I don't have a favorite. Maybe you haven't found the right one yet. I mean, how could you not feel anything when you look at this beauty? Uh, look at this beauty. We should get him. He kind of looks like Henry, right? How can you not feel anything when you look at him? Well, first of all, that's not how I talk. And uh, isn't that gonna clash with the old color scheme you got going here? I'm joking. Oh, so there is a funny bone in that icy exterior after all. I'm not icy. Please, if they sent you to the Arctic, your death stare would 
freeze the melting glaciers. I once won a prize for best joke in fifth grade. I'm certifiably funny. Oh, what was the joke? Why did the orange stop in the middle of the road? I don't know. Because you ran out of juice. It's about as funny as that gnome in your hand. Oh, my grandma says they bring good luck. Maybe this little guy will help me get the job. I would protest to you getting the job if you put that gnome in my garden. Our garden? It's our garden. It is, isn't it? Come on. You get that? Thank you. We still got a little time before we gotta head out. Wanna see my favorite place in the world? Do I have a choice? No, but it won't be long. I've got plans later in the city. Oh, a date with Anna? No, it's uh, an appointment with a business advisor to help me set up my garden design business. We'll create a logo, build a website, that kind of thing. I didn't think you cared about things like that. You're not the only one with ambitions. Um, sure. This is the apple tree I told you about. When we were filling the planters, I grew it from a seed. Oh, I may have zoned out a bit. <laughs> well, now that I have your attention. I'm not eating that. Why not? I don't know where it's been. Here, on this tree. <laughs> a fly could have landed on it. Look at that. There could be a worm inside. Oh. What's wrong? Oh, no. What is it? Oh, no. Oh, I, I think it might be. I told you. Absolutely delicious. You scared me. How can you eat stuff that doesn't even look like real food in these fancy restaurants and then turn your nose up at the real deal? Come on, try it. That's the best apple I've ever tasted. Told you. Get your own. <laughs> Welcome to the Robertson Family Sanctuary. <laughs> we camp out here most summers. Still do sometimes. Light a fire, look at the stars. I've literally never done anything like that. <laughs> oh, you should try it. Nah, not really my scene. Come on, let's take in the lake. We still have a few minutes before we need to leave. What are you doing? Uh, looking for bugs. I don't, I don't want to sit on one. There's bugs everywhere. They'll be more scared of you than you are of them. There. Have a look. Oh, wow. It's... It's beautiful. My happy place. It's easy to get weighed down by life. But coming out here reminds me I'm a very small part of this big old universe. All this was here before me and it'll be here after me. So every day I'm lucky enough to be here is a gift. And I try to treat it that way. That's actually deep. I'm not just a pretty face. <laughs> Anyway, we better hit the road.
Come on, baby. Don't do this to me. I told you this van was a hunk of junk. What are we gonna do now? Are you okay? A bee just stung me. Oh, don't tell me you're allergic to bees, too. No, but clearly it's a sign I don't belong in nature. We'll need to get the stinger out. Let what me are you see. Gonna do? All right, uh, I'm gonna pull it out. Uh, uh, don't move, okay? Hey. There we go. Mm. All better. Might be sore for a few days, but you'll survive. Do you have any antihistamines? I think I might have something in the van that'll help. Oh. My luck. Mm. Here we go. Where's the medicine? This is it. That's a clove of garlic. Nature's finest mm -hmm. antihistamine. Uh-uh, I'll sting. <laughs> Stop complaining, let me put it on. Oh, mm. oh yeah, mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah, that's That'll help ease the pain. And I'll be protected from vampires, so win-win. <laughs> What's going on with the van? Uh, I think the fan belt's gone. Can you fix it? Uh, not here, and it's about to get dark, so it'll have to wait until morning. And spend the night out here alone in the woods with you? I think it would be a lot scarier out here without me. Trust me, we have everything we need out here. Ow! Oh, sorry about that. Who knew you could cook a dinner by foraging for food? <laughs> uh, everyone, aside from you. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Mushrooms, soil, and dandelion. Served with mint tea. I love it. That's my kind of restaurant. No fuss, all fresh, and no need to book in advance. Yeah, but that exclusivity is part of the enjoyment. Anyone can do this. Is that why you don't like flowers? They're too available? No. No, that's not it. I hope your business advisor isn't too annoyed that you missed the meeting. Well, luckily I haven't paid them, so I won't have to come out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you know, creating things is literally my job. Why don't I help you with your logo design? Why would you want to do that? What else are we going to do out here? Talk. Look at the stars. <clears throat> Work it is. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm getting to know a new client, I like to understand what makes them tick. So tell me, who is Ben Robertson? Why don't I show you? I had a sketch pad in here somewhere. Oh yeah, here we go. This place is quaint. How old is the record player? Oh, it's uh, my grandma's. You gotta crank it to make it play. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've gone back in time. Yeah. I bet your apartment's all shiny and new. It is very shiny and extremely beautiful. See, I think new things have a shallowness. What makes something beautiful to me is the love and history behind it. You know, without love, beauty is surface, it's meaningless. But what if that surface is really pretty? When the next anything comes along, you replace it and forget you ever liked the old one. The connection isn't the same. Everything in here has its own story. Uh, this chair. My pop sat in this chair so long watching sports that he wore the fabric away. And my mom had to patch it up. 
And I like sitting here knowing that when I was a child, my father held me in his arms and shouted, just throw the ball <laughs> at the TV. So you're the nostalgic type. I like to keep my past present. I collect them because of my hometown. I made this one. I whittled it from an oak tree that fell in our backyard. I like that a dying tree gave something else life. I think I have something to work with. And what about Lily Loftus? Who is she? I've never had a client ask me that. What if I want to know? I can't work and talk at the same time. Well, uh, if you want to answer that question, I've got another one for you. Why does someone who's not a fan of flowers wear a rose necklace? I saw it when you got stoned. It's a, it's a long story. We have all night. <laughs> it was my grandma's. Her name was Rose. A uh, rose and a lily. Sounds like some people in your family like flowers. <laughs> Is that all I'm getting? Growing up, I, I spent a lot of time with my grandparents. I'd sit on the porch in my grandma's swing seat just watching the world go by. I think that was the happiest I'd ever been. What happened? One day I came home from school and flowers were everywhere. Like an enchanted garden. It was so beautiful until I realized they were there because she had. Since then, flowers remind me of sadness. That must have been really difficult. You know, I think that's why I work so hard. I just want to make her proud, wherever she is. That's why this job is so important to me. If I'm at the top, I won't always be fighting to get there. <laughs> you know, you don't always have to be the best at everything. There's a happiness to be found in being average, like me. <laughs> why are you talking yourself down? Uh, I'm definitely a late bloomer. <laughs> It took me a while to figure out what I want to do, but the mistakes I made made me who I am. Failure's a part of life. Not for me. What do you think? It's beautiful. <sighs> Happy to help. Thank you. So what's the nightlife like around here? <laughs> what's the hip thing to do? Thought you'd never ask. If someone told me last week that I would be out in the middle of nowhere, whittling in front of a campfire, I would have said they were insane. <laughs> and even more insane if they'd have said you were enjoying it. Oh. <laughs> Play it cool if you like. I can see right through you. I'm having a perfectly acceptable time. Okay, so, whittling. Take your knife and cut towards the grain. Okay. Keep the stroke short and watch your thumbs. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I, I don't think I can. 
can do. You're all tense. You gotta relax. Well, like this. I can't believe I made this. He's actually kind of cute. <laughs> really are a high achiever. <laughs> Bet you were a precocious child. My grandma always said I reminded her of an owl. Because of all the mice you ate? Because of my big eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no. We should get some sleep. It's been a long day. I'll sleep here and you can take the van. Okay. Help you get it set up. I think mine came out better than yours. <laughs> you think? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All ready for you. Okay. So, uh, night, Lily. Night. Ben? Oh, you're alive. I was so worried. You have been offline for 25 hours. I almost sent out a search party. There was no phone signal and Ben's van broke down and then we had to sleep in the woods. Well, that sounds like your worst nightmare. Actually, I, I kind of had fun. Mm hmm? Okay. Do tell. He built us a campfire, he foraged food for us, and we talked all night until we fell asleep. So wait, you're telling me that you spent a night under the stars with a handsome man and you didn't hate it? It wasn't like that. It was nice. He's nice. Ah, what is that? An owl. Yeah, but what is it doing on your desk? Oh, did Ben take you to one of those little gift shops and force you to buy it? <laughs> I made it. You did what now? Ben taught me how to whittle. That's kind of cute, right? I'm in shock. <laughs> Huh. Oh, but it kind of looks like a cowboy man is uh, rubbing off on you. No. Hmm? Is there something you want to tell me? Is something blossoming? Pun intended. Nothing's blossoming. I, I don't have time for any distractions. I'm totally focused on finishing this garden and winning this challenge. Hmm. It's really cute. Hi. Hey. This is the last of it. How's it coming up here? Great. So, what do you think? Too much lavender? I think more pink will even it out. You know what? I think you may be right. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> wow. Looks like a real garden. Were you expecting a fake one? No, I just couldn't imagine it. And we're ahead of schedule. Oh, we're not done yet. We still have some more ideas. Yeah? We need to make this garden perfect so you get the job. Sure. What do you think? I like it. I feel a butt coming. But I think I have an idea to make it better. 
What are you, some kind of garden expert or something? I'm just a city girl standing in front of a country boy asking if he'll come along with me. <laughs> Lead the way. You are a genius. <laughs> I figured you wouldn't want to buy anything new and we don't exactly have the time to build anything, so I did a little research and I found a place that made furniture from fallen trees. So they'll get a new life in our garden. They're perfect. Remind me again why we need all this stuff? Everything so far has been practical. Now it's time to add a little glamour. get too excited, but I think we might be done. We did it. <laughs> it's like our own little Garden of Eden. <laughs> exactly. We actually did it. I told you. And all that stressing. For what? Guess I'm a little highly strung. <laughs> a little? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but will Henry like it? How could he not? Trust me, the job's yours. I really hope so. So what do we do now? You can head out uh, if you have something else you need to do. Actually kind of free. And technically I'm not allowed to go back to work. So. So. I think we should celebrate. Yeah, let's celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> um, what should we do? In the woods, I showed you how I like to have fun. So tell me, how does Lily Loftus spend her downtime? Just lie here? Yes. N nothing else? No. Nothing at all? There's herbal tea. What if I need to itch my nose? I feel like a new man. That massage it eased out knots I didn't even know I had. I feel taller. Do I look taller? So <laughs> tall, I'm getting a neck strain just looking up at you. <laughs> <laughs> this one is my favorite. All I see is colors, but I'm guessing there's a deeper meaning behind it. Art critics would say it means one thing, the artist probably another. But for me, what matters is how you feel when you look at it. What emotions does it evoke? What thoughts run through your mind? I think since working on the garden, I've realized that I've forgotten that in my own work. Because flowers are simple? Not just that. The campaigns I work on, I'm always trying to provoke people, make them think. But maybe I should think more about what makes people feel happy, the way people feel when they look at flowers. But like you? I may be coming around to liking flowers, except eucalyptus, obviously. Woo! Quiet, please. Excuse us. <laughs> I find it really magical that you can create something from nothing. Just need to put in the time and keep chipping away, even if it seems impossible. Then suddenly, it all appears. 
It all makes sense. I think I've always been so driven to get results that I, I've never taken the time to let something blossom. Speaking of blossoming, when you told me you didn't have a favorite flower, I thought maybe I could help with that. It's beautiful, but where did it come from? I picked it out while you were searching for more garden melons. <laughs> what is it? It's a night lily. In the day, it keeps its flowers shut. Defense mechanism. And when it thinks no one's watching, it lets its hair down, so to speak. It only blooms at night. But so many people must miss out on seeing it. They do. That's what makes it more interesting. Because when it flowers, Never forget, ever. And it smells incredible. Oh, my God. go, go, go. Morning, Maria. Well, look at you. How do I look? Like a boss. Of course I do. Am I interrupting? Interruptions are a natural part of meditation. What matters is how you react to them. Right. How are you feeling? Confident. Everything you need to choose me as head of the company is right here. Good. Just put it there. I look forward to reading it. Hey. Hey. Thanks for the flowers. They're beautiful. You're welcome. Everything's in ship shape here, ready for Henry's inspection. This job is yours. I'm just so nervous, I can't concentrate. <laughs> here, take a look at this. Oh, look at that. Your business advisor got that up quickly. <laughs> Actually, I did it myself. Your commitment throughout this process inspired me. I realized I didn't need someone else to do this, apart from your incredible logo. <laughs> <laughs> we make a good team. I think so too. Hello, you two. Good morning. Good morning. You got this. Well, well, we have a garden. We do. Let me take a look. Oh, it's beautiful. Would you mind giving me some privacy? I just need to clear my mind. Of course. Sure thing. <sighs> the 
It's taking Henry so long to decide. Hello? Hello? I thought you'd be happier. I am. It's just all happening very quickly. Go for it. Ben obviously likes you if he's calling you to lunch. Have you heard anything? Have you? Nothing. That's probably because losers are easily forgotten. People only remember winners. Yes, that's right. You're looking at the new head of the company. What? You win some, you lose some, kiddo. Lily, I'm so sorry. I have to talk to Henry. You gave Victor the job? Lily, I've tried to call him, but it was busy. I did everything you wanted. I made an incredible garden. What did I do wrong? Victor didn't just secure one client like I asked. He brought in five new green companies. I could have secured 10 of those accounts if you had let me. I asked you to focus on the garden and to forget about your job. And you didn't listen to me, which is insubordination, Lily. If I can't trust you with a simple instruction, how can I trust you to run my company? I thought I could impress you more if I did both. That wasn't the task. Lily, you're extremely talented, but you're way too single-minded. In all honesty, I was hoping you would learn that if you can nurture plants, you can nurture people. And do you think Victor is the nurturing type? Well, his assistant, Maria, told me how helpful and supportive he is, so yeah. I'm sorry it turned out like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got swept up in all that garden nonsense. We did it. Cheers to us. Henry's given the job to Victor. I'm so sorry to hear that. And it's your fault. Wait, how is it my fault? If you hadn't told Henry I was in that meeting with Blusher Bay, he would have never known about it. We talked about that. It was an innocent mistake. Was it? Or did Victor tell you to do it? Or do you just enjoy getting me in trouble? No, none of those things. We weren't a team then. You'd been really cold with me. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Because I can promise you, it is nothing compared to how I'm feeling right now. Years of hard work thrown away because I'm running around with you? What a waste of my time. You don't mean that. I, I should have realized that Victor might be up to something. I, I might even lose my job. He's already threatened as much. I'm sorry, I really am. This is all I ever wanted. And now it's gone. Your big foot stomped on me the day we met. And now, he stomped all over my hopes and dreams. Happy. You don't have to stay here, you know. Why don't I come home with you? We can order pizza, have a nice quiet night. A pizza isn't going to fix the fact that my life is ruined. Your life isn't ruined. Hey, you are a talented creative director who's just been profiled in an industry magazine. This is, it's a little bump in the road. I don't have bumps in the road. I don't fail. Well, I was reading a self-help book the other day <sighs> and it said, rejection is redirection. What if this is the best thing that's ever happened to you and you just don't know it yet? Ever since you met Ben, you're a lot happier. You have a little color in your cheeks. You smile more. It's like you've bloomed. Listen, I don't need to hear all this happy, clappy, positive thinking stuff right now. Ah. And now I'm going to have to go to a party to celebrate a garden that I wasted a week of my life creating. And Victor? This day get any worse? <sighs> I'm 
is wrong. The day could get worse. That's his ex and she's super into him. I'm sure he's really upset too. He really wanted you to have this job. Yeah, he looks super troubled. You okay? You seem kind of down. It's been a rough day. Lily been cracking the whip? Something like that. What are you doing? Want to come for a drink? Yeah. You didn't do anything wrong. She's furious at me. This isn't about you. Lily will realize that when she's less angry. Sorry, I've been going on about myself all night. You haven't been talking about you. You've been talking about Lily. I think I know why. I don't think you realize that. How often do you think about her? A lot, but it's an intense job. We see each other every day. Do you like making her happy? Of course, but she doesn't make it easy. If you had a good day, would you want to tell her about it? Well, yeah, but I'd feel that way about all my friends. Well, what about if you had a bad day? She'd make it better. She makes everything better. How would you feel if you never saw her again? I'd spend every minute wondering how she was, what she was doing. Wish I would be there with her. You need to fix this. How? She hates me. Find a way to get through to her. She may be down now, but you can make her happy again. You're right. You're right. Thank you. I gotta go. Go, get your girl. I'd like to donate all of this, please. No problem. Why are you, what's? He won't stop calling. Don't you think he's done enough damage? Maybe that's a little harsh. Ben's just- I don't want to hear his name ever again, ever. There's a lot of gardening things in here. Are you not a fan? <sighs> Trust me, it's overrated. Oh, okay. Are these plants triggering? Should I move them? I don't care about the plants I need to work. Throwing yourself back into work isn't the answer. Let's talk about what happened. Hold space for your sadness. Victor will have me out the first chance he gets. I can't give him any opportunity to see me slack. Good to see a little knock hasn't got you down, Lily. I'm undertaking a company-wide restructure once I'm officially in charge. I'll remember this. That's a hideous little thing. What is it? A mistake. Will you be at the official opening of the garden tonight? It'd be good to have you there when the company signed over to show there's no hard feelings. I wouldn't miss it for the world. See you tonight. Lily, there's something I- No, I'm not doing this. I'm busy. Please leave. Ben, wait. Is she okay? I haven't seen her like this in a really long time. There's something I want to show her on the roof. Can you get her up there? Well, it's not going to be easy. Please. It's important. Okay, let me see what I can do. Thanks. Let me know. Hey. Do you need a hand? Why would you want to help me? Because I'm a better person than you, obviously. Henry's, I mean Victor's, 
office. No good deed goes unpunished. What is this? Flower market. Hold on. Good to see you're getting everything tidy for our grand unveiling. I thought this garden was pointless, but it'll make a great backdrop to the photos when Henry signs the company over to me. Happy to be of service. I need to talk to you. It's fine, I understand if a lily won't come up here. It's not about that, it's just... I need your help. Is there a woman that came in squarely, big glasses, yesterday? <laughs> Can I help you? Hi, Victor. I was just... Well, I was helping Maria carry in the boxes, and then... Looking for my phone. Oh my God, there it is. <laughs> Gotta run, bye. Perfect. Thomas is for two. Hello, Maria. You cannot come in here dressed like that. There's a dress code. I think a dress code is the least of your concerns right now. You're coming with us. That's right. Let's go. We know what you did. I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, when I was helping you carry the boxes, I found something. And I paid a visit to the LA Flower Mart. There's a place there that specializes in eucalyptus plants. I showed the woman a picture of you and she said you bought some off of her the other day. Any reason why? Maybe to put in a room where you knew Lily was having a meeting to sabotage her, knowing it would cause an allergic reaction? You've no proof. I thought of that. And then I realized you would classify that purchase as a business expense. And because you're so organized, it would be neatly filed away, photocopied, and documented. Which it was. I guess you wish you were a less competent assistant right now? I can explain. It's too late for explanations. You're about to be fired. I've got something on Victor. I'll tell you everything if you keep quiet about this. Hmm. Henry. Victor. You ready to take over the company? I can't wait. Where's Lily? I have no idea. I'm going home. You're not going anywhere. Get that fabulous dress on. We've got a party to ruin. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to start by welcoming you to this stellar rooftop garden. Thanks to the hard work, diligence, and commitment of Ben and Lily, we all get to enjoy this beautiful sanctuary for years to come. Call security. I'm going up. On it. Come on, come on. Forget it. Building this company 
been perhaps my greatest source of pride, and I am delighted and honored to bestow it to Victor Smith. Victor? I'm honored to accept this appointment, Henry, and can only hope to be able to fill your shoes. But I promise I will lead this firm forward, some might say greenward, into a sustainable and prosperous future. You said if I told you, you'd let me go. I lied. She's all yours. This is a mistake. I was just doing my job. Without further ado, let's make this official. Thought I had a pin here somewhere. Has anyone got a pin? Pin! Anyone got Great. Quickly. I can't wait to get started. You've got plenty of time. Stop! Henry, don't sign it! Victor lied to you about everything! Don't listen to her. She's clearly gone mad. She's not even wearing shoes! He snuck a eucalyptus plant in the boardroom knowing I'm allergic. And he lied about me not recycling my coffee cup. For the record, I always recycle. And way worse than that, he hasn't secured any eco-friendly clients, let alone five. He made everything up. Forged documentation and all. Victor, is this true? I mean, I, I didn't exactly. I, wait, where are you going? You need to leave. Come back! Come back! You need to leave now. I'm not leaving. Oh, yes, you are. I. You can't prove anything. The company's mine. And you gave me your word, Henry! You said! Lily, I've made a terrible mistake. The job is yours. I should have listened to my gut. I've got to go deal with this now. Let's talk later. Much deserved, boss. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. Actually, I had some help. I'll leave you two alone to talk. You dropped something. Can you get this one too? <laughs> I think you're starting to enjoy this. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> it's good to see you. You look beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish I would have never told Henry you were in that meeting. You were being honest. One of your many best qualities. I... I lashed out at you because I was mad at myself. None of that matters now. The job is yours. I don't know if I want it anymore. What? But it's your dream. It was. I hadn't realized how closed off I was from the world. I'd shut myself up, like the night lily. But being with you, in the garden, in nature, it's made me feel so alive. I, I can't imagine going back into a stuffy office. Then don't. Come work with me. We're a great team. We can travel and create gardens together. So, we'd be colleagues? More than colleagues. But what about Anna? I, I saw you with her yesterday. I spent the whole time talking about you. I don't want to be with anyone else but you. 
I don't want to be with anyone else either. I wasn't sure you'd ever talk to me again. And so uh, I made you something. I hoped it might get through to you if words wouldn't. Wow. You did this for me? I stayed awake all night making it. <laughs> you said sitting in your grandma's swing was the happiest you'd ever been. I want you to be that happy again. It's beautiful. And it will last forever. Like us? Like us. <laughs> <laughs>